Americans are a storied franchise that dates back to the 1800s. But have you ever wondered why they're called the Mud Hens in the first place? Meteorologist Derek Witt is live downtown to tell us all about the history behind it. Derek. Right. Money and Madonna are a beloved part of the glass city, but what exactly is a mud hen? It's actually a nickname for the American coot, a marsh bird that was seen frequently flying around the ball diamond way back when Toledo baseball was first getting started. The uh, baseball team at the time played at Bayview Park in Point Place, which is a marsh land, and they, you know, this time of year is when you see a bird called an American coot, lovingly referred to as a mud hen, and uh, the team unofficially took that name back a hundred years ago. The mud hen was an iconic bird in the marshes during the late 1800s. It stands out for its dark color and contrasting white beak. That name for the team was used on and off throughout the first half of the 20th century before being made permanent in 1965. An important note here, a mud hen is not a duck. They say if it uh, looks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's probably a duck. That's not true with the coot because a coot is not a duck uh, and it doesn't quack. A coot's a member of the rail family, so very much a marsh bird. They're very widespread across the United States, but uh, in Ohio, the, the biggest concentration is going to be right here in western Lake Erie. The reason they were so often seen around that 1890s ball field is because they would migrate into our region for their breeding season right as the baseball season began. You'll even have a chance to spot them yourself over the next few weeks. I've seen them right here in uh, where we're standing in, in the Maumee River. Uh, the most likely place, though, is going to be in the Lake Erie Marshes um, or Manhattan Marsh in North Toledo. The Mud Hens, a bird and baseball team with roots deep in the history of Toledo. What I love about the name is that it is authentic. It's, it really comes from our region. It talks about our region, as does the Toledo Walleye. After seeing all those photos of an actual mud hen, you may have come to realize they don't really look much like Muddy or Madonna. Well, Scott also told us, just like all species, they've evolved to their environment and for their purpose, and their purpose is to make us smile. We'll send it back into the studio now to Christian Brown. Derek, thank you. What an incredible backstory. Thank you so much, Derek. Our opening day coverage doesn't end here. We're live from Fifth Third Field all throughout the evening, so stay tuned on air and online as we continue to bring you the ins and outs of Hens Baseball.